Hello and welcome to this Dr. Frost video on expanding an expression of the form ax plus b cubed plus cx plus d squared. So you want to expand and simplify 2x minus 3 cubed add x minus 4 squared. Now whenever we're squaring or cubing brackets we just repeat the bracket. So the 2x minus 3 cubed that means 2x minus 3 times by 2x minus 3 times by 2x minus 3 and then we're adding it's x minus 4 squared so that means x minus 4 multiplied by x minus 4. Now there's nothing new in this subscale it's just we have to do a bit more work because we're going to have to expand these three brackets out and we're going to have to expand these two brackets out and then we're going to have to collect like terms together when we add these. So we do what we usually do when we expand three brackets. You can either do the first bracket times the second first, or you can do the second times the third. I'm just going to do the second times the third, but it really doesn't matter. So we've got the 2x minus 3 at the front there. And then we're going to multiply these two brackets out. So we put one big bracket. 2x times 2x is 4x squared. 2x times minus 3 is minus 6x. Minus 3 times 2x is minus 6x. And negative 3 times negative 3 is plus 9. So I did that quite quickly there. But you should already know how to do this. And let's do the same over here. We've got x times the x. That's x squared. We've got x times the minus 4. That's minus 4x. We've got minus 4 times x. That's minus 4x. And we've got negative 4 times negative 4, which is plus 16. So that's all expanded over here. We still need to do some expansion here. Um, but I'm just going to do some tidying up first. So I'm going to collect like terms just to tidy it up as we go along. Well, we've only got that single x squared term, but we've got minus 6x subtracted another 6x, that's minus 12x. We've got the plus 9. And then we might as well tidy up over here as well. We've only got a single x squared term, it's that. We've got minus 4x subtracted another 4x, that's minus 8x. And we've got the plus 16. So it's getting simpler and simpler now. So now we've got to multiply out these two brackets. So we do each thing the first bracket times each thing the second. So we do the 2x times each of these things here. So 2x times 4x squared is 8x cubed. 2x times minus 12x is minus 24x squared. And 2x times 9 is plus 18x. And now we do the minus 3 multiplied by each of these things. So negative 3 times 4x squared is minus 12x squared, negative 3 times negative 12x is plus 36x, and negative 3 times 9 is minus 27. We've still got these three terms here, so we've still got the plus x squared, the minus 8x, and the plus 16. And now we're on the home straight, we just need to collect like terms. So let's see what we've got. What x cubed terms do we have? Well, that's the only one there, so we've got 8x cubed. What x squared terms do we have? We've got this x squared term, this one, and we've got this one. So we've got minus 24x squared, minus another 12 lots of x squared, that's minus 36x squared. But we're adding one lot of x squared, that's minus 35x squared. Now what about the x terms? We've got the 18x, the 36x, and the minus 8x. Well, 18 minus 8 is 10, plus 36 is plus 46. We've got 46x. And finally, we've got the constant terms, the terms without the x. We've got minus 27, and we've got the plus 16. Well, that's minus 11, I believe. So we've got minus 11, and that gives you the final answer.